Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a video about Corral Hollow OHV Trail. This is going to be off Highway 4. It's supposed to be a mellow trail. So we're going to be camping out there for two nights and three days. We're going to bring a Subaru, a Jeep TJ, a Toyota Tundra, and of course the Frontier. And we got to cut the U-bolts before we head out. So I'm going to do this in a day in advance because uh, we've had a while to plan for the trip and things are going to be i think pretty good weather and hopefully shouldn't be too much traffic up there we're going to have to pass through stockton so we'll see how that goes and we'll take you through it so we're underneath the truck right now and as you can see these are the longer u-bolts i got for the uh, shim that was installed a while ago and we're going to mark these down probably be right about there just so they're sitting a little higher we don't bash these against rocks and it looks a little cleaner you know don't have all this extra thread length hanging out and then we'll angle grind it off and clean it up and we'll do that side as well because it looks the same and that'll prepare us for the trail and we'll get we'll get out there So I've got this cut down and I've got the driver's side too. I don't want to show you guys the whole process. It's really just cutting some metal. So it's pretty simple enough. And I'm going to lube the front ball joints. They've got Zertz fittings on them and that's pretty much good to go. The last video you can hear them squeaking a little bit, but um, I've already lubed them up just a little bit, but I think I'm going to try one more time just to get a little bit of extra grease in there and we should be all set for the trip. And we're pretty much ready to go. I got two toolboxes. I got the one with the air compressor, and the one with the tools, tent, the folding table, one five gallon thing of water. We got the firewood and one set of drinking water. And I'll show you what I have in the truck. Um, there's two bags missing. We got um, the camera bag and the cooler and maybe just a small miscellaneous bag of clothes. But we got the... Uh, sleeping bag in here along with all the sleeping equipment and we've got the camping stuff in here with the propane and the burner sits right below so i like to keep it pretty compact there's not a lot of stuff so i'm pretty stoked with that setup as you can see i put the soft topper back on supposedly there's going to be a little bit of rain um just a smidge so this is just in case i'd rather not have it on but better to be safe than sorry so we're gonna head out on the road now and Show you guys what we're going after. We're at the campsite right now. It's kind of dark, very dark. And we were running the trail because we're trying to find a camp spot. And we've got the Subaru in the back. So we're going to walk him through some of the tougher sections, uh, some of the crawly sections, but it is super dark. I got my light bar on if you guys want to take a look. Um, this yeah, looks good. like it's off. Perfect. Once we got there at night, it was really evident that the Subaru did not have enough ground clearance to clear some of the sections at Corral Hollows, especially the north side, which is a little bit more technical than the south side. So we decided to stay at camp right along the trail. So this is where we uh, stopped off at night and we set up the, uh, the tents and some of us slept in our cars because of how uneven the terrain was. And we were basically right on the edge of the trail, so we got lucky that no one was trying to run it in the middle of the night. But you could see the Subaru, the Jeep, and the Nissan, and we had our buddy in the Tundra, the full size, uh, sort of close to the edge of the trail. And we all kind of squeezed over. <laughs> and you can see this part that the uh, trail got pretty bumpy, and further up, there is a large rock that we could not get the Subaru around, or try to.
for joke. After hanging out at the lake for a while, we decided to go through the south side because it's supposedly easier and more fire road accessible. So we decided to air down here from 15 to 20 PSI and proceeded to make our way up. Right about here is where we had trouble with the uh, Subaru, especially like I had mentioned before with the ground clearance. The roots and the rocks were giving the Subaru a hard time, so we decided to turn our rigs around and go back down and find a campsite on a different offshoot.
After setting up camp in a nearby meadow, there was some light rain and a little bit of drizzle and thunder, but nothing too crazy. It subsided after a while and the temperatures were really pleasant. We therefore parked the Subaru and the full-size Tundra and we decided to go play in the mud for a bit and then make dinner. After waking up in the morning, we decided to head back down to the mountain, thinking it was going to take a couple hours since we really took our time to get the Subaru up to that spot. But it turns out the way down was super mellow, and we overestimated how intense it was going to be. So we decided to just kind of bomb around the fire roads and have a good time. But we didn't get to run the full Corral Hollow Trail, which is all right. Um, that'll be a, probably a video for another time. Um, for now, it was really good to see what the capabilities of the Subaru were and to play around and get the guys out and I got the truck pretty Love much it. so that was pretty good. I'll put a link in the description down below of the uh, campsites that we went to and some of the coordinates. Uh, overall, the trip was really great, and I think that it was it's well worth it if you guys want to check it out. You definitely want uh, a 4x4 or 4x2 rig like mine with high clearance, and a spotter is definitely nice, but you could probably easily get it up it with stock to about 33 tires is like pretty ideal. You don't need anything much bigger than that. We saw some 4Runners that weren't lifted too high, and a RAV4 actually that was scampering up with pretty good ground clearance.